Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create this kind of animations inside Adobe After Effects using Element 3D plugin. So I hope you will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. So further without any due, let's begin. So here we are in After Effects, now let's start this by creating a new composition. Further click on this new composition, go to this preset options, I am selecting HD1080 with a frame rate of 24 and duration of, let me change this to 10 seconds and hit OK. Now let's create a solid layer for Element 3D. So go to this layer options, new, select solid, rename it as element and hit now come to this effects and presets panel if you are not finding this effects and presets here go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for element 3d so this is a third party plugin from video copilot we need to download it separately from video copilot and install it so select this element and drop it onto this element layer now click on this scene setup so we got a new window open to work in element 3d so here at this corner you will find a starter pack which comes with element 3d just click on that and here you will find some models here i will be using this watch model so here you can say i got this model so if we expand this one we got three materials so let me show you this is watch body this is watch glass and this is watch rim so now i will be duplicating this model twice so right click duplicate model again right click and duplicate model so at this portion i will be leaving only rim so if i hide out you can see in this portion it is only rim so let me rename this to rim okay now select this second one hide out this first one so in this i will be leaving only watch or sorry let me leave only body watch body okay so let me rename this to body okay so here i will be leaving only in glass so here you can say this is only glass so let me rename this to glass okay so once these are set so let me show you once again so first one is only rim second one with body and third one is glass so right click select the rim and come to this aux animation set it to channel one now select this body right click aux animation set it to channel two now select this glass right click aux animation set it to three so in this body we'll get multi multiple we'll get multi it's like we'll get these dials separately we'll get these screws separately and this body separately in this part in this body part okay so let me enable all these and if you want to change the look or the feel of the environment you can do that so simply click on this environment tab or button and select the environment map so here i got this where okay backlight environments so here i will be selecting this one and hit ok so you can see i got different look here if i press shift and hold left mouse key and drag it left side you can see how it looks when the environment is rotating just google some environment maps and download it and apply here to get different looks here here i will be using this one now hit ok so we got our model here so in order to view this model in 3d space we need to create camera so go to this layer options new camera ok now let me select this track z camera tool hold left mouse key and drag it upwards move it upwards 
to zoom it out let me change this to unified camera tool let me bring it here hold middle mouse key and drag it downward let me change to track 3 once again and zoom it up like this okay fine now let's add camera rotation first so come to this layer options a new create a null object click on this toggle switches here if you're not finding this toggle switches here you need to enable this option enable here you will get the toggle switches or else you can enable all these three if you want this indicates this timeline expansion which is not required much but here you can use this option so click on this toggle switches you will get the 3d option enable 3d option for this null layer now pick with this camera layer if we click here hold left mouse key and drop it onto this null layer so now we can control camera from this null so if i go to this transform options and y rotation if i rotate this you can see we can rotate the camera so if I change this to four views, which indicates top, front and side. So if I rotate this, you can see the camera will be rotating. Here the product is not rotating, the camera will be rotating. Nice. Let me change back to one view. So beyond the first frame, so let me change to zero. So I think let it be here. Okay. Now enable keyframe of this Y rotation move to the last frame or else 8 seconds forward in timeline and change the rotation here like this okay now select both the keyframes press f9 to easy is them so now if we play this animation you can see we got this cool rotating animation already nice so now we will add some bit more animation to this model so select this element layer i forgot to say one thing let me show you that click on the scene setup if we observe clearly all these three are in group one you can see these three are in group one remember that okay so we will be looking in only group one we won't touch this group two three four five so look into this group one expand it come to this particle look multi object and enable multi object so we got this bunch of options now so if i change this y scatter value you can see that the body has got these 3d objects here it has got these gears screws and these dials separately so let me change this to zero once again so be on the first frame enable keyframe of this y scatter and let me scatter here like this i think this would be fine now move forward in time like eight seconds and change it to zero okay. so if i play this animation you can see this whole parts will be joining together to form this watch okay now let's close this and now let's move to this aux channels so now if we check out these aux channels in channel one we got this body here watch body you can see we can control it here so i will be changing its position to like 0.10 beyond the first frame while doing this enable keyframe for that also so in channel two we got body itself so i will be moving it upward a bit minus 0.1 so enable keyframe for that also and in channel 3 we got glass so enable keyframe for that also and move it upward like minus 0.1 okay so now again move four seconds forward in timeline now let's change this to zero zero and zero okay so now if i play this animation here you can see we got this nice and cool watch forming animation here okay 
so this looks pretty cool for me nice so i think i need to leave this rotation animation till the last frame so what i will do is add this null layer press u on the keyboard let me drag it till this last frame now beyond the first frame select this element layer scroll down to this render settings there is render settings ambient occlusion enable ambient occlusion and let me change the intensity to 10 okay now come to this lighting options here you can change the lighting to whatever you want if i change this to dramatic the appearance will be different so if i change to cinema you can see the difference what is happening here so if i change to stylized it will be different so pick the proper lighting which suits best for the scene so i think this product lighting will be better for this scene so i will be leaving to that now let's come to this environment physical environment rotate environment now be on the first frame enable keyframe of this y rotation move to the last frame and change this y rotation value to 1 so if i play this you can see that the environment will be rotating along with this animation and we'll get these nice reflection kind things on the product okay now finally let's add some depth of field here so come to this camera layer select this camera layer expand the options here come to camera options here you can see depth of field just click on this off button or else off it will be enabled so i will be increasing this aperture to 100 now the focal distance we need to adjust it manually see which works better for you so beyond the first frame enable keyframe for this focus distance and move to this last frame and here let me change this focus distance to here okay. or else let me change this to here now let me reduce this aperture to 25 okay so if you want to add bit camera moments also you can do that here like beyond the first frame once again Enable key from of this point of interest and position. Move three seconds forward and rotate it like this. And let me place it here. Okay. Now split this camera layer. Go to this edit. Split layer. Now select this second camera layer. Expand the options. Transform. Disable keyframes. Enable keyframe once again. Now change the position of this camera here so in this way we can create this kind of product animations in element 3d easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new from this please click on that like button do share this content and leave your valuable feedback in comment section We'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.